Welcome to the Virus Research Unit. Located in Dunedin at the University of Otago's Microbiology and Immunology Department, the Virus Research Unit, or VRU, has been studying the mechanisms underlying virus-host interactions for over 20 years. One of our focus is the O virus, a member of a large pox virus family which also includes the deadly smallpox virus. Orph virus causes a highly contagious skin disease in sheep, goats, and humans. The double-stranded DNA genomes of pox viruses can be separated into two portions, a central core containing highly conserved genes linked to common virus infection steps, such as genome replication, packaging, and exporting, and flanking regions containing variable genes often associated with host specificity, virulence and immune modulation. The VAU plays a leading role in the characterization of many pox virus factors. In this video, we are going to focus on PACER, an off virus factor which may have applications in the treatment of diseases associated with cell cycle anomalies, such as cancer. Viruses are known to exploit the molecular machinery of host cells in order to facilitate their own replication. To know how viruses do that, we must first understand the mechanisms controlling cell replication. Cell replication occurs in cycles. Each cycle can be separated into four phases, division or mitosis, a postmitotic growth phase G1, DNA synthesis or S phase, and a premitotic growth phase G2. Progression through these phases is driven by fluctuating levels of key proteins known as cyclins. When levels of a specific cyclin go up, it binds to and activates a kinase, known as cyclin dependent kinase or CDK. This complex then phosphorylates several regulatory proteins, leading to the progression from one cell cycle phase to the next. Once in a new phase, the complex must then be inactivated, a process that involves the degradation of cyclins via the ubiquitin proteasome pathway. This pathway involves the addition of ubiquitin molecules to the surface of a target protein by a group of three enzymes, a mechanism known as ubiquitination. First, the ubiquitin is attached to the activating enzyme E1. Then, the activated ubiquitin is transferred onto the conjugating enzyme E2. Next, a ligase E3, which binds both target protein and ubiquitin-bound E2, facilitates the transfer of ubiquitin from the conjugating enzyme onto the target protein. This process is repeated many times until a polyubiquitin chain is formed. The chain activates proteasome complexes which seek and destroy ubiquitinated proteins. One of the key regulators of cell cycle is a ligase E3 known as anaphase promoting complex or APC. Composed of at least 12 subunits, the APC's catalytic core is formed by APC2, a culling protein with structural roles, and APC11, a ring protein that recruits ubiquitin carrying conjugating E2s. Because APC plays a key role in controlling cell cycle, many viruses are known to target this complex during infection. That's the case with off virus, a pox virus which carries a factor known as PACER, pox virus APC regulator. Analysis of PACER's predicted amino acid sequence revealed homology to APC11, more specifically to its ring motif, a sequence composed of a group of cysteine and histidine residues which bind to two zinc ions to form this unique structure. To form APC's functional core, APC11 must bind APC2. Given the homology shared with APC11, PACER was thought to also bind APC2. To investigate this possibility, immunoprecipitation experiments were conducted 
in which a HJ tagged APC2 and a flag tagged PACER were co-expressed in human cells. When PACER was isolated by its flag tag, the presence of APC2 was detected using an antibody against the HJ tag. This indicates that PACER indeed binds APC2. This finding suggests that PACER plus APC2 may form a functional E3 ligase capable of ubiquitination. To verify this, a ubiquitination assay was used. First, APC11 was used as a positive control. A smear in this lane demonstrates that APC11 promotes ubiquitination of a substrate. However, when PACER was tested, no smear was observed. This surprising result indicates that PACER does not promote ubiquitination. This raised an interesting question. Does PACER inhibit APC's function as a ligase E3? If so, it is possible that normal cell cycle may be disrupted as a consequence. To find out, flow cytometry was used to compare cell cycle profiles of normal cells against stable cell lines expressing PACER. APC promotes exit from mitosis and maintains the duration of G1. Thus, normal cells accumulate more in G1 phase and less in G2M. In contrast, PACER expressing cells accumulate more in G2M than in G1, a profile consistent with impaired APC function. To further characterize PACER, a recombinant virus was constructed in which the PACER gene was deleted from the genome. The successful generation of the recombinant virus without PACER demonstrates that PACER is not essential to off-virus replication. However, black size from the recombinant virus shown in red was significantly smaller than its normal counterpart. In addition, the growth of the recombinant virus during infection was substantially impaired. Thus, PACER, despite not being essential, plays a significant role in off-virus replication. It is known that the vast majority of ring proteins mediate ligase activity. If so, why a ring protein such as PACER lack ligase activity? Bioinformatic analysis points at several structural differences between proteins known to promote ligase activity, such as RBX1 or APC11, and PACER. Most notably, the absence of this alpha helix in PACER, which in RBX1 is essential for interaction with conjugating E2s. To confirm this, VRU is currently engaged in resolving PACER's ring structure using X-ray crystallography. A number of viruses inhibit APC's ligase function by disrupting its integrity. However, to date, this is the only report of a virus encoding a mimic of the APC component, revealing a new way by which viruses manipulate cell cycle. In addition, many types of cancers are associated with inhibition of APC. Thus, understanding how PACER inhibits APC might one day enable us to develop novel drugs to treat cancer. This work was supported by the University of Otago and the Health Research Council of New Zealand.